weighing 240 pounds, from Salt Lake City, Utah, former WWE Tough Enough competitor, and the Well, ladies and gentlemen, when you look up Chant in the dictionary, when you look up competitor, when you look up heart, when you look up the heart of a lion, it's going to be Martin Casals. He is UCW Wrestling. And look at this. I believe if it's worth anything to you, it'll not come easy. Uh, my name is Martin Casaus. Uh, I am a stockbroker, an actor, and a professional wrestler. So wrestling takes up most of my time when I'm not at the office. I've been in pro wrestling for 12 years now. It's been a wild ride uh, going from country to country and TV screen to TV screen. Um, people see wrestling and they really see just what happens in the ring. And they don't see the stuff that goes into getting between the ropes. Because really, there's so much work that goes on before you ever step into the ring. And then there's so much more work that goes on once you do make any sort of progress whatsoever. The work just keeps coming in. But that's the fun part. So uh, let's just do the regular warm-up drill. The rolls. You don't have to bump. Roll on you with them. You don't have to If you want to, cool. You don't want to. All right. Start us off, Ross. Well, there's a lot of people out there pro wrestling right now, um, and some people take it less serious than others. Um, it's a for unfortunate. Really, wrestling is going is a lifestyle. Every day is scheduled out. So Sundays yoga, 6 a.m. wake up, work out till 8:30, work 9 to 7, voiceovers 6:30 or 6 a.m. Work out, work, acting class, wrestling practice, work out with my personal trainer. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm out, whatever state I'm wrestling in. So, every day scheduled out at all hours. <laughs> so, um, wrestling pays great if you make stuff on TV. If, if you don't, there's a lot of wrestlers out there, you actually have to have a real job as well. So, here's my financial licenses, my Series 63, my Series 7 financial licenses. Here's my bachelor's degree. I was on the president's list here, 4.0, to be on the president's list at my college. And uh, so, wrestlers aren't all idiots. I have a personal trainer who shows me exactly what to eat. Um, I have my own set of protein carbs that I take in every single day. Um, I eat every three hours, so it's uh, a whole lot of chicken breasts. <laughs> Egg whites in the morning. Um, I cheat sometimes and put in some bacon. Um, I do some granola and then I have an apple with peanut butter for my three hours after that. I do uh, a protein shake after that. I do carbs with a chicken breast. Um, two hours after that, I do another chicken breast with some sort of carbs. Uh, and then after that, I do like a beef meal with like uh, red potatoes. And depending on what I'm scheduling, I have a bag that I carry things around with uh, so I can do that. It's really meal prep on the weekends. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work. Like I said, if you do this right, it's a lifestyle. Would you like, like me? Oh, pay you for my services? Pay for rent. Pay for my services? Do I have to pretend I like you more? <laughs> this is my girlfriend. Hi. 
She does a lot of the cooking while I'm out doing things. Again, it takes a lot of team effort here. <laughs> so. It's great to be as strong as you can, um, but also you have to be able to move. Um, so I have one personal trainer who's helping me put on as much weight and look as good as I can, but I have another trainer as well who literally just works on agility with me um, and moving really well. And because it got to the point where I was putting on a whole bunch of weight through one personal trainer, I changed my diet up, but then I couldn't move as well as I could. So I had to hire another personal trainer just with me agility wise. Um, you work out probably an hour and a half, two hours a day I like, because I always like sitting in the sauna. <laughs> but uh, that's really just clean it up. I usually about 30 minutes of cardio, uh, 45 minutes if I have to, um, and then my workout is usually an hour, hour 15. Lunch, or are we doing like clothes lines? Whatever you guys want. But they're just taking a bump. Yep. Okay. So, legs here, flop, headlock, shoot off, he tackles me. Well, I'm sorry, I tackle him. Hit the ropes. Go under, stand back up, tackle on the third, bump feet. Okay? okay. Give a sort of signal that you're coming. Okay. One thing that I always hear is, hey, it's my dream to be a wrestler. And then they get in the wrestling ring and that dream is a lot harder to get to. Um, I believe if it's worth anything to you, it'll not come easy. So really what I tell the new guys is work harder than everybody else, study harder than everybody else, and uh, it'll show. I work for a stock brokerage firm. Um, I sit at my desk for 10 hours a day, uh, but I don't go to bed and think about, I can't wait to trade this next stock. When I wake up, I think about my match coming up. Um, and I always believe my next match is gonna be my best match. Uh, I, this is what I love to do. I don't love to be a stock broker. I could do that till I'm 50. I could make great money and live a great life behind the desk. But interacting with these fans, the moments that I have in between these ropes, uh, the road stories, you drive 14, 20 hours to get to the next show, wrestle for 20 minutes, and then drive 20 hours back. There's, you make such great friends. This is a lifestyle that is just provides so many good stories and memories. I love this, I love this business, and uh, the fans just make it so good. To, uh, to be part of it.